Dracula was trash. I don't care what you say. I personally think it was trash. It was horrible. It's in the title. You know what's going to happen. This is kind of a review, but normally I'm kind of positive and stuff. But honestly, if I don't like something, I'm going to be real about it, innit? And I did not like this. This is typical, typical BBC. I don't know what it is about the BBC, but everything they make always feels so BBC. If you know what I mean. Like, fair enough, there's some shows that get away with it. Like EastEnders. Like, look at this little dramatic part from EastEnders. Yeah, that's like grade school or secondary school level fucking editing, right? 100%. And then the thing is, when I'm watching a BBC show, I'm sat here like, hang on, I pay for a TV license every fucking year and this is what you do with it. This is what you're doing with my fucking money. You're worse than the government with taxes. Like, you are taxing us for this, for this trash. So now that I've got that out of my system, let's talk a little bit rationally about what my problems were with the show. Now when I saw that it's the same team as Sherlock, I was really hoping for some results. But off the bat, the effects were terrible. I'm talking CW level, even worse. I've seen Doctor Who pull off some really bad stuff in recent years, but this looks horrible. The best effect I think I saw was in the third episode. And you're probably thinking, how did you make it to the third episode if you think it's trash? Because I love trash so much. I'm like, Forky, I love trash, man. If it's trash TV, I'm in. So I watched all three of these episodes. And I'm not going to lie. The first two were all right. Like, the past stuff, okay, it works. Because here's the thing that I always think about when they tackle these sort of old school horrors. They always make it so campy no matter what they want to do. Like, it always seems like they try and go serious, but then it has a bit of the homage to the whole old school era approach to making people scared. Like... You know, I'm like Joey Diaz when it comes to vampires. When you were a vampire, you fuck guys, you fuck chicks. It don't matter. You're a vampire. You ain't gay. You just sling dick, you fucking dogs. It don't matter. You're a fucking animal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And this guy just didn't hit the mark. Even Edward in Twilight was a bit more menacing when it comes to times of being menacing and a bit more suave when it comes to times of being suave. This guy just came off as socially inept throughout the entire thing. And I get it. Like, you know, Dracula, he's probably lived up in the mountains and whatever and not spoken to people for however many years living on his own feeding off people but as we learn he gets his abilities through sucking blood anyway so like he surely must have sucked enough blood that he'd be able to not be completely an idiot when we first meet him but no and throughout this entire thing this entire show is packed with absolute complete idiots so what i didn't like i guess it's the acting and the special effects so far. So that's two of the main things. And then the writing. The writing in this show is terrible. And this dude wrote some of the best episodes of Doctor Who. And the greatest series of Sherlock I have ever watched. This is atrocious. Let's fast forward to the end of the story. We know Dracula. He's lived his life, right? He's been trapped in a box. They know that he's been trapped in a box because the secret's been passed down through generation to generation. And they've set up this medical foundation that they're going to use to take Dracula's blood to figure out what, like, immortality is. That's a fair enough plan and I get it. But here's where it all starts to fall apart. Firstly, they go to the box to check he's in there. And he's in there because he bites her finger off, right? Then they go, okay, he's waking up. Let's shut the box leave him there, let him walk to land all the way back to England, yeah, and then we'll approach him with guns and otherwise. Why don't you just lock the box and take the box with you and take some of his blood? That would be my first question, right? But then, that's not bad enough, no, 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 no. Then they're just going to let him walk around, talk to people, and do whatever he does. He clearly has, like, powers of, like, perception, like, you know, he puts you in a little hypnosis and stuff, right? They just let him walk around, do whatever he wants to do. You have guns on him. You let him pick up the camera and take a selfie. What did you think was going to happen? Terrible writing. It's just done so we can get away. And then the rest of it is the whole fish out of water kind of him adapting to modern society, him finding his next bride, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll just sort of die. And I kid you not, as much effort as I have put into telling you about the third episode is about as much as they put in to writing the third episode. Should you watch it? I mean, you should. If you like watching stuff that's so bad that it's good, then definitely watch it. But if you want a serious vampire movie, then go and watch Twilight. So yeah, that's it. I hope I didn't ruin the show for you. Um, 
Let me know if there's any shows you think I should go and watch that are also hot trash. I love watching them. I definitely review them. I sat and watched all three episodes of Dracula back to back. So there you go. There you go. That's what I thought of it. I've saved you some time. As always, like, share, subscribe and all that stuff that I never say because I don't understand how to be a proper YouTuber yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Have a good day.